The Antarctic Ocean is one of the last virgin expanses on the planet. Its depths are an unexplored final frontier, an ocean full of life, of biodiversity, essential for the health of the planet and our viability as a species. I went there to try to get to know its beauty, its importance, its fragility, and the urgent need for us all to come together to protect it, just like we did in the 80s with the frozen landmass of Antarctica. In this video, I invite you to accompany me on a journey through the Antarctic Ocean and to learn some facts that will help us understand what we are gambling with as a species and why this place is so important in case its beauty alone is not enough. It is amazing. There's an iceberg there that has the most beautiful shape I've ever seen. It's like a cave of ice, and we are going to get close to it, I think. A few hours ago, we sighted seals and whales navigating among the icebergs in Sierra Bakov, or just dropped, and we were speechless at the sight of these extraordinary castles and cathedrals the wind and water have carved from the blue ice. We were amazed by the dull cracking sound they make as they break apart, which can be heard from far away in the overwhelming silence of Antarctica. I've traveled a lot, I've been to marvelous corners of the planet, and I have witnessed humanity's history through its art and architecture. But nothing has ever moved me as much as the artwork made by nature herself, floating, fearless, alive, crackling, constantly changing. What I saw here surpasses anything else. Others have explained to me clearly the geological, climatic, atmospheric, and biological processes that come together here to create these palaces and sculptures of ice. And yet, there is something in this silence and this immensity that speaks directly to your soul and brings you into conversation with yourself, asking that this be protected, that it be protected from us. Because there is in this landscape a voice underground, a cry in the wind that tells us this is not our place. This is not a place for man, but a place to be studied, documented, protected. Human activity is the origin of many environmental and climatic problems, and that means it is the human conscience that must come together, take responsibility, and look for a solution. Emotions are powerful, and they often lead to action. Positive emotions should lead to positive actions. Estar en, en conexión con la naturaleza en su máxima expresión, ¿no? La ballena, el animal más grande del mundo, tener 12 alrededor, ver cómo comen el krill, dando vueltas, creando burbujas para traerlo a la superficie, la relación que tiene eso con los demás animales, los pájaros. Estoy a punto de meterme en un bicho pequeñísimo que apenas quepo. Lo mismo que voy con John. John es el bus driver. Como dice Jeff, menos de 50 personas, dice él, han buceado en estos mares con un submarino. Ser uno de esos, pues es un privilegio, vamos. Presa del fondo marino, ¿no? De la vida. No pensaba que en un sitio así hubiese tanta vida debajo de, de estas aguas, ¿no? Tanto color. Eh, es impresionante. Es impresionante. Without protection, industrial fishing crews will have access to these waters. One of their goals is to come through with enormous nets and suck up krill by the ton. This small crustacean is the base of the entire Antarctic food chain. Here, everything eats krill, or eats something that eats krill. Without krill, everything is done for. The sanctuary would prevent industry from robbing the basic food source of penguins, birds, and whales, 
and would relieve the pressure on populations so these creatures could recover. Hemos subido arriba de la montaña y detrás tenemos a los chin strap penguins, que son los pingüinos de mancha, tienen raya en la barbilla. Estamos aquí sin molestar porque están con sus bebés. Y creo que hay uno que se acerca. ¡Qué maravilla! More than 300,000 pairs of Antarctic petrels raise their young on the coasts of this potential sanctuary. One third of all emperor penguins are born on ice flows in these waters. To date, six species of seals and 12 species of whales have been documented in this zone. Sanctuary status would protect them from men so they could feed and reproduce. These species and many others are suffering the impact of climate change contamination and overfishing. Marine sanctuaries would permit them to recover. The scientific community is beginning to understand now the role that healthy oceans play in the absorption of carbon and how they help keep climate change in check. Sanctuaries don't only protect biodiversity, they also assure food security for billions of people who depend on the seas. A healthy ocean is one of the greatest defenses against climate change. There is evidence that krill help capture surface carbon and deposit it deep on the ocean floor. If we do not come together in October 2018 to create the Antarctic Sanctuary, we will also lose faith in the ability of national governments to protect the oceans. Why should we celebrate the Antarctic Treaty if the 24 member states of the European Union can come together? Let's make this the first of many ocean sanctuaries. Let it be an international judicial precedent applicable to many other marine environments. The eyes of millions of citizens of the world are on us. Here, in the Antarctic Ocean, we are gambling our future. Nothing less than the future of humanity. And as we've repeated many times these days, there is no plan B, because there is no planet B. Now is the time to act. Thank you for that.